Hey guys, it's Bitcoin Schmickwing here with another update for Bitcoin Magazine's video analysis. We'll be starting on the monthly time frame, working down to the weekly, the daily, and concluding on the four hour time frame. Um, since we're in the middle of the month, we won't t uh, pay too much attention to the monthly candle, but what I want to point out is this monthly level outlined here at 7700. Uh, as we zoom in today, it's going to become a little bit more relevant, so keep an eye on it. Moving down to the weekly time frame, uh, we see that we're currently finding support on that $7,700 level that I was talking about. Um, and we saw um, two candles ago, saw a little bit of support, a nice rally, and we managed to close above this band of prices here, this band of prices between 8,080 and 8,200. And now we can see our current weekly candle is testing it again. We have yet to push back through it, so no immediate sign of uh, danger there. But when we look at the daily time frame, there is a little bit of weakness starting to sh uh, surface with our market structure. Yesterday's daily candle closed with a bearish engulfing candle. Um, what that basically means is that uh, tip to tip, uh, this entire previous, this entire daily candle engulfed the wick the spread of the prior candle. And it's a sign that maybe bulls are getting exhausted and it's definitely not something that we want to see this late in our range. Um, we've been stuck in this trading range since the 26th of September and it's now the 16th of October. So we've been here for a few weeks now and this sort of uh, large spread is not something that we want to see at the tail end of, uh, you know, if you're a bull, it's not something that you want to see at the tail end of a range. Um, when we look at our uh, volume, we can see that the volume is starting to consolidate a little bit, but something that is a little bit um, uh, alarming is that uh, this high spread candle is coming about on on, a, on high volume as well. So we can see that um, it is, you know, it's not breaking the moving average, but it is making a peak in volume uh, as we come into support. And something that we want to keep an eye on when we look at our four hour structure is these uh, series of well-defined support and resistance levels and we can see here that we've had a, a major failure to hold old uh, support above this level here um, this 8380 and uh, we can see that we really just sliced through all our support and now we're kind of sitting in this uh, awkward position right on top of this last band of support and if this gives way um, I think we're gonna see a nice shove to the downside um, something that <clears throat> is immediately uh, alarming on the lower time frames is this continuous surfacing of supply. You know, we're we're at the later stages of our trading range. Um, you know, this being the later stage. You know, this stuff down here, um, and we're still seeing high spread. We're still seeing high volume. Um, and those are the things that are really sticking out. The days that are bullish are really compressed. You know, leave uh, uh, these impulses aside. Um, the four hour candles that are bullish are compressed and they're getting easily slapped down on high volume and they're making new lows. So, what we really want to watch is this immediate level right here at this 8100 because if this gives up, it's most likely going to come back down and retest the monthly level I was talking about, uh, that $7,700 level. And I'll zoom right back out to that. So the $7,700 level is uh, this guy right here. Uh, this It's right in this, uh, this green support band. Um, and if we come back down here, that would mark our fourth test of the support. And, um, you know... The more time support gets hammered, the, the weaker and weaker it gets. Um, so we really need to keep a close eye on this because if this level breaks, this could really accelerate through this support. Um, so this is really kind of the do or die moment here. Uh, you know, it's possible that maybe we drift down. We see a slow bleed out of supply and it gets absorbed. But right now, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of signs of supply absorption, which means that the, the buyers are uh, just getting swamped with supply and uh, not a whole lot of uh, supp um, buyer dominance is surfacing here. You know, we're seeing these these brief rallies that are quickly shut down and it just keeps happening over and over again. So uh, again, let's keep an eye out on this $8,100 level because if that breaks, we're coming back down to this uh, $7,700 level.
Um, if you want the bullish case, the bullish case is that we close the daily support uh, back above this $8,200 level. If we can close the daily back above here, then we'll be looking with a bullish lens. But right now, this is looking quite bearish. Uh, you know, not macro, not anything that's going to be like a devastating bear market just yet. But um, it does mean that there might be a, um, a better buying opportunity in the future. So keep an eye out on this level if we close our daily level above this 80 80 uh this 8200 well then maybe the bull, the bulls are uh are ready to take another crack at, at a, another impulse uh, to a new high but so far it's showing uh overall weakness from the bulls and uh the more and more support gets hammered the weaker and weaker it gets so keep your wits about you don't get terribly greedy and um yeah watch this eighty eight thousand eighty dollar level